Hello Riker owners, Brandon here with SlingMods.com and today we have our Chaser Underglow kits for the KM Riker. Once again, we partnered up with our friends over at Trick LED. They're bringing you guys three different plug and play Underglow Chaser lighting kits to bring your Riker from this to this. Now we've gone ahead and separated these kits into three different items, allowing you to start with kit one and expand up into kits two and three, depending on your budget. Now kit one is the backbone of the entire system and includes a remote control, as well as a four output module box that sends the light show signal to all the kits you have plugged into it. So to make it easy, each kit gets its own output on the module box. For example, kit one would go here, kit two here, and kit three here, allowing expansion of up to four different Chaser Underglow kits. Now each Underglow kit illuminates a different part of the Riker. So kit one includes headlight accent strips that use a special clear adhesive for an inverted dual headlight glow that looks pretty menacing. You'll also get dual front grille lighting strips, as well as lighting strips for both the left and right side lower A-arm. Now, when you add kit two into the mix, you highlight the midsection of the Riker and your engine compartment with strips that adhere to the size of the body panels on both sides of the bike. And finally, Kit 3 lights up the booty of the Riker with under seat lighting as well as an accent strip that runs down the entire length of the swing arm. All the lighting strips are cut to link specifically for the Riker application and are encased in a smoke black protective coating it allows the strip to remain flexible and protected from the elements while still blending in with the factory body panels for a stealthy look even when the lights are off. All of the connectors are plug and play and the only thing that isn't are the two ring terminals that you'll need to crimp and connect if you plan on running directly to your battery for power. Now speaking of power, we know the Riker battery is a bit on the tiny side. So when you're parked with the ignition off, the lighting module has a built-in smart feature that automatically shuts down the entire lighting system after 10 minutes, but only if the module box doesn't receive any remote control commands in that 10 minute period. The included remote control gives you access to over 60 pre-programmed lighting patterns, including a red, white, and blue theme, a demo mode that cycles through every single pattern, or if you get tired of all the lights dancing around, you can also cycle through solid colors for an even glow of your favorite color. Now, even though these kits are sold as three different kits, I'm gonna walk you through the installation of all three on the same Riker, as that's what the majority of you will be doing. So if you're gonna run directly to the battery, you'll have to first cut and strip the ends of the positive and negative wires from your module box. And then crimp on the ring connectors. Next, you can remove your hood. Then unscrew your positive battery terminal and connect the red positive end of your module box. Then unscrew the negative battery terminal and connect the negative black end of your module box. Now take your one into four splitter and plug it into one of the four plugs on your module box. Next, open your glove box and pop out these four push pins. Then slide open your fuel door and pop out these other four push pins so that you can remove these two side panels. Now take an alcohol prep pad and clean the surface area on top of your headlight lens. 
Let that dry for a minute and then coat the same surface area with the primer wipe. Once that's dry, take one of the short LED strips with the inverted LEDs that are underneath the adhesive strip, peel off the protective backing tape, line it up with the lens, and then press down firmly to adhere into place. And then just repeat for the other side, peel off the protective backing tape, line it up where you want it, and press down firmly to adhere it in place. Next, unscrew these two T25 torque screws at the nose of your glove box. Detach the small top middle panel from the glove box. Lift it up just enough to expose the wires on the back so that you can unplug them and remove the glove box. Now attach a 12 inch extension to the left hand side LED strip, followed by a one into two splitter. Then attach the other LED strip to that splitter. Then plug a 36 extension to that splitter and safely run it down to the one into four splitter plugging it into one of the open plugs and making sure to zip tie any and all loose wires up and out of the way of any and all moving parts. Now carefully pull up on the corners of your front end, detaching it from the top of the bike. Take an alcohol prep pad and clean the surface area underneath the top lip of your grill and let that dry for a minute before coating the same surface area with the primer wipe. Now while you let that dry, take a small piece of tape and mark the center of your grill. This will act as a reference point, making it easier for you to center the LED strips. Since both strips will have the wire in the middle, make sure you allow enough space for the wires. Next, peel off a small section of the protective backing tape next to the wire end, and with the wire in the middle of the grill, line it up so that it's centered with your tape, and press down firmly to adhere it in place. Then repeat for the other side, peel off the protective backing tape, line it up where you want it, and press down firmly to adhere it in place. Now you can attach both of those LED strips to a one into two splitter, and route the wires back and up behind the grill. Attaching a 12 inch extension and plugging it into one of the open plugs on the one into four splitter. Next, take another alcohol prep pad and clean the underside of both of your front lower A arms. And once that's dry, coat the same service area with a primer wipe. Allow that to dry. Then test fit this strip with the wired end facing the inside of the bike so that you can see where it'll go. Then peel back the protective backing tape, align it where you want it, and press down firmly to adhere it in place. And then repeat for the other side. Peel off a section of the protective backing tape, line it up where you want it, and press down firmly to adhere it in place. Now attach the 36 extension to the left hand side strip, and the 19 inch extension to the right hand side strip, and carefully run those up into the two remaining plugs on the one into four splitter. 
Now go back through and make sure you zip tie any and all loose wires up and out of the way of any and all moving parts. Reattach the top of your front end. Plug in your glove box and slide it back into place. Attaching the screws at the nose to secure it in place. And then reattach the two side panels and your hood. Now if you opted for kit 2, start by turning the metal key on the right side air scoop to open that up. So that you can then test fit the LED strip to the opening, making sure that the wired end is closest to the front of the bike. Next take an alcohol prep pad and thoroughly clean that surface area. And let that dry for a minute before going back through over the same area with a primer wipe. Once that's dry, peel off a small section of the protective backing tape, align it to the inside lip, and then press down firmly to adhere it in place, continuing to peel off small sections at a time, pressing down firmly as you go. and then simply repeat that same process for the other side. Lift off these two clips from the left hand side air scoop to completely remove it and set it aside for now. Giving you room to test fit the strip along the inside edge. Then thoroughly clean it with the alcohol prep pad. And once that's dry, go back over the same area with a primer wipe, letting it dry for a minute so that you can then peel off a small section of the protective backing tape line it up where you want it and then press down firmly to adhere it in place. Now you can reattach your side air scoops and then plug in a 36 inch extension to the left hand side LED strip and run the wire down and across to the module box where you'll then attach a two into one splitter and then plug the right hand side LED strip into that splitter adding a 24 inch extension and then plug that extension into one of the open plugs on the module box. Next, for those of you that decided to go with kit three, start by taking an alcohol prep pad and thoroughly cleaning the underside of your seat pan. Then once that's dry, go back over that same area with a primer wipe. Now test fit the strip so you know where it's going to go, making sure that the wire side is facing forward. Then peel back the protective backing tape, line it up where you want it, and then press down firmly to adhere it in place. And then do the same thing for the other strip. Peel off the backing tape, line it up where you want it, and then press down firmly to adhere it in place. Next, attach both strips to a two and a one splitter. Both 
followed by the 24 inch extension and then run that down along the frame, zip tying any excess wire up and out of the way of any and all moving parts. Now to make things easier on yourself, pop out these three push pins to remove the lower rocker panel, exposing the wiring harness underneath that's already being run along the frame. Then take the long LED strip and test fit it along the underside of your swing arm with the wired side facing the front of the bike so that you can get an idea of where it's going to go. Then take an alcohol prep pad and thoroughly clean the surface area and let that dry for a minute before going over the same area with a primer wipe. Once that's dry, peel off a small portion of the protective backing tape from the LED strip line it up where you want it and then press down firmly to adhere it in place. Next, plug that and the underseat extension into a 2 into one splitter. Add the 80 inch extension. And then run that down along the frame with the factory wiring harness to the open plug on the module box. Now be sure to go back through and zip tie any and all loose wires up and out of the way from any and all moving parts. And then finally you can reattach your rocker panel followed by your hood. Okay, now that the installation is complete, let's take a look at our handiwork and go over some of the features and functionality of the remote. To turn them on, simply press the A button. Then if you want to cycle forward through all the light sequences, press the A button again. Or if you want to go back to the previous light sequence, press the B button. The speed of the moving sequences can be controlled by the C button. And to turn them all off, press the D button anytime. So if lighting up your Riker with a custom tailored underglow lighting kit is on your mod list, then be sure to head on over to slingmods.com today or click the link in the description below to grab one or all three kits for yourself. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I can keep you up to date with everything Riker. I'm Brandon, signing out. Till next time.